Warning, this is a copyright disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allows its fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news warning, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use prevented by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips and in favor of fair use. As today's video was supposed to cross my brain call. Thank you for your attention. Now enjoy the show. Hello, how y'all doing? I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 37 of your favorite show. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean episode 36 of your favorite show. Welcome to Logo History Retold, based on the words of Rob Chio 0407L. We're glad you're here today, and today we're about to take a look at a logo that you may not have ever heard of before, but we gotta do it anyway, because today, for episode 36, today's logo is Nickelodeon. We're going to my Brandon Call. Thank you for the request, Brandon Call. The link to his channel will be in the description down below. Yet, it's in the description. Make sure you go check it out. I've done it so many times on my channel. I did this on local history, on local history Moshi, on local reviews, on local history showdown. And now we're going to do it again. The fifth time on local history retold. You have seen episode 35. Episode 35, our previous episode we did was about Gaumont, which is a French production company. It was requested by Retro Galaxy. Link to the video will be up there on the top right corner screen. If you want to go check it out, definitely go do so. And also, uh, their website for today's episode, www.nick.com. Link will be in the, in the description down below. Please go check it out. So go check it out. Otherwise, sit back. Let's get right to it. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the show by for those of you who don't know what Nickelodeon is. It is an American paid television channel that was launched on December 1st, 1977 as c 3 Channel. Although it was often referred to as the Pinwheel Channel, since the only form of programming at the time was the educational series Pinwheel. On April 1st, 1979, they changed their name to Nickelodeon. They have introduced several sister channels and programming, a whole a lot of which were successful, specifically in their Golden Nicktoons age, like SpongeBob SquarePants, for instance. The headquarters are in New York City, New York, United States, and they are owned by Nickelodeon Networks, which is a subsidiary of Paramount Media Networks. Their sister channels include Nick and Knight, Nick Jr., Nick Tunes, Teen Nick, Noggin, Nick Music, CBS, The CW, MTV, BET, VH1, Comedy Central, TV Land, Logo, CMT, Pop TV, Showtime, The Movie Channel, Flix, Paramount's Network, and Smithsonian Channel. The network is available to over 87 million households in the United States as of September 2018. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get right into it. Are you ready to see what we can do? Good. It's time to do with what Rajio 0407 L does all the time. If you're ready, let's do it. The local history of Nickelodeon. 1977-1979 show was launched as C3. Here we have a pink rounded shape. Pink rounded rectangular shape that looks like a television screen. Inside there's the C3 white text and that's it. 1979-1980 they changed their name to Nickelodeon. So here we have a a black drawing of a, of a man. A man looking inside a a, a zoetrope or something. On the right, there's where Nickelodeon and black text. On the right, there was the Young People Satellite and Network all in black text as well. So that's it. Here's a version without the slogan. The blue version, the, the ver variant... The, the version without the man, and we just have the word mark. 1980-1981, we just have the word Nickelodeon in blood text, and that's it. Here's the version with the slogan. 1981-1984, we have here a silver wall on it. That's where Nickelodeon in rainbow text. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. The letter N is in yellow text. The letter I is in light, or light orange text. The letter C is in orange text. The letter K is in light red text. The letter E is in red text. The letter L is in... Is in a purplish... Reddish purple text. The letter O is in... The purple text, letter D is in blue text, letter E is in light, is in turquoise text, letter O is in teal text, and letter N is in green text. So, that's pretty much it. Here's the short version, the 2D ver the, the, the version with 2D text, the, ball, the silver ball itself, and the well, wheels have the war mark and the 2D version of the war mark. 1984 we just have the word Nickelodeon in orange text, and that's all I gotta say. Here's the print version, the white version, uh, the version, the white version on a orange background, the short version, the print version of the short, uh, the print version of the short version, the the print version, uh, uh, the white version of the short version on uh, the orange background. We have the we have the circle version, another the short circle version, another short circle version. We have the version, we have the short version on uh, on uh, orange ally, the tenth anniversary version, the twentieth anniversary version, the Bulgarian version, and the Nick or Tree version. If I'm just I see the present, the font changed, and the text is now lowercase. So that's it. Here's the print version, the the short version, the print version, short version, the three D version, the three D version of the short version, the on screen bug. We got the we got the white version on a blue back on an orange background. We have another variant of that same logo. So that's something. We have the HD version, the full HD version, the the Earth Day version, the summer version, another summer version, the winter version, 
Another winter version, the KO version, seen on a bumper for Avatar, The Last Airbender. We have the Splat logo, which is an error or something. Yeah, it's a complete error, my friends. We got the Blip version, another Blip version for the 2015 Kids Choice Awards. The Blip version used for the 2016 Kids Choice Awards. The short Blip version used for the 2015 Kids Choice Awards. And the short Blip version used for the 2017 Kids Choice Awards. We also have we also have a variant where the letter I, or where the dot and the letter I are spaced out. That's in the intro of SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, we also have the Bulgarian version, the glossy version, a variant used since 2017, the short version of a variant, the short version used since 2017, the April Fool's Day version, and the blue version used to promote Paramount Plus. With that, it's all over. Thanks for watching. Let's get into the credits of the original video. The original video was, oh, sorry. Original video was created by Rob G 047 l Gotta give credit to him. Link will be, link will be in, in, in the description down below. Please go check it out while you can. Song of his video is Would It Kill You by Mini Vandals. Oh, boy. I don't want to hear about you, but something is not quite right here. Will it kill me? I didn't think so. Thank you for the song. Logos and information were provided by Logopedia and Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Links to both are in the description down below, so go check it out while you can. Also, special thanks to the people who have found these logos, which helped me make this video. And all rights go to the original designers and owners of the logos shown in this video. So, there you go, my friends. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, so you don't miss a new video from me as well on the road to... to 2,400 swimmers. Also, leave a like, share with your friends, and leave a comment down below. We got a new episode of Logo History coming soon, where we'll be about, where we'll be about KRO and CRV. Be on the lookout for that, plus a new episode of Logo Reviews, where we'll be about True TV. And guess what? I got my Moshi Pre description back. Yay! That means Moshi Pre Moshi's content is coming back to the channel, my friends. Uh, so be on the lookout for a new episode of Moshi Moms coming soon, plus our new Moshi Monthly series. The Moshi Halloween theme park coming soon, so be on the lookout for that as well. But for, us, for the rest of the schedule, please check us out on the Instagram channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself, and I'll see you next time on Rob Geo 0407 L's Logo History Retold. And be on the lookout for the next episode. It's coming away real soon. Episode 37 will be about MGM Television, requested by Kai. So be on the lookout for MGM Television coming real soon. Episode 37 is about MGM Television, that which is requested by Kai. Metro Golden Mayor, trademark, R.S. Grazi Artis, Television. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. Otherwise, guys, if you want to go catch up on past episodes, we got you covered. There's a playlist for that. I'll put a link to the playlist up there on the top right corner screen. So please click on the link up above. Catch it anytime you want. Hi, everyone. I highly recommend, I highly recommend you, could do so. Good, you could do so. But for now, though, everything let's come to an end. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And see you in the next video. I'm going to send you sign out for Local History Told, for Rachi 0470, Brett and Cole, and everyone here who made this video possible. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Like, fair, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!